Yo, this one right here is for the drop out of schoolers, the future cougars, the Mary Jane abusers. So I'm going to show you how to do the beam effect. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need your clip, which is right here. And this is going to work with any Sony Vegas you have because you use cookie cutter. And I do believe cookie cutter comes with all of the Sony Vegas's. So the first you want to, thing you want to do is duplicate your track like this and make sure you only click the top one or else they'll both cookie cutter and you only want cookie cutter on the top. So I actually already made the cookie cutter but I'll show you how to make it. So you can use any of these you want but um, the square looks the best and you're going to put on just the top cookie cutter so now you can still see the bottom layer. And the first thing you want to do is use your border and put it all the way to the top so that the border is completely white. And then you want to move your repeat Y so that it gets long and covers your whole screen. And that doesn't matter how high you make it, just so that it reaches the top and bottom of your clip. And then you want to start off small, so move your size and make it skinny. And then, depending on what Sony Vegas you have, you can, there's either going to be an anime, or anime, <laughs> animate button right here, or you're going to already have your timeline keyframe down here. Um, I have Sony Vegas Pro 12, so to animate, I click one of these little clocks. So I'm just going to click the size one because that's what I'm going to be animating. And then there's a center here which will either show up as like a little box here depending on if you have a Sony Vegas, Movie Studio, Platinum. One of the non-pros is probably just going to be a light box here. Um, you might have it like this or you'll Ha might have it here and pretty much what this does is so I can move it around so I can have it on this side I can have it on this side have it in the middle it's the same thing as the center button here I can move it and it's the same if you have like a white box right here this big white box and then there's like colors here it does the same thing and you can, you can make this any color you want I'm gonna do white and I'll just move it to this corner first and pretty much what you're gonna do is you're gonna Click how big you want this, because you don't want it very long. So I'm going to split this clip and just make a short clip. And I'm going to actually split all my clips, because I'm going to have it scattered throughout my video. Yeah, like that. Okay, so for this clip, I'm going to go back to my cookie cutter. Um, I'm going to move it right here. And pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to use your keyframe, aka you're also your time frame, and at the end I'm going to click it so that the size gets bigger, and just like that. So it starts off here, smaller, which is going to be a butt about showing, and then it gets bigger. So then when you play it, it grows. Yay! That's not quite what you want yet. So. I'm going to make it fade out to make it a little smoother, fade it in, and then you're just going to drop your opacity. And I would, I mean, it depends on what you want. I'm going to drop mine to mm, 40, 40 ish looks good. So now when you play it, it goes boop. <laughs> and you just do that through your whole thing. And like you can take this one, and I'm going to move it on to this side of it and then make it grow you can make it grow as big as you want smooth it out with by using fade and then drop the opacity now I have two of them bloop, bloop. and yeah you just do that through your whole thing and just make it scattered and you just want to make sure that you keep your clips the same because if I change this clip, then it's going to show a different clip there, and that's not what you want. So that's what you do. If you have any questions, comment below, and I hope that makes sense.
See you guys soon.